Hi. Welcome back to our channel. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, I am Carla from Vintage Hip Decor and today we're hanging out in my bedroom because I'm excited to share a space with you here in my bedroom that I have not shared on our YouTube channel yet and that is my closet. Today we are gonna get into purging and organizing and cleaning up the clothes in my closet. Now I think I actually have a pretty nice closet so I'm excited to share this space with you. It's not a full-blown disaster zone, because I go through my clothes about once a year and try and purge out what I don't wear anymore, but it is definitely messy right now because I am overdue to go through, take out the things that don't fit me, that I don't like anymore, that I just know I'm not gonna be wearing anymore so that there are only things in there that I do love. And unless you literally just clean out your own closet, I know that you're in the same boat, that there are clothes in your closet right now that you do not put on your body because either they don't fit or they are not your style anymore or they're just kind of annoying to wear. Yeah, we are gonna go through our closets together, get them cleaned up because you know what? Once you clean out your closet, it sets you up for starting your day off on a much better foot because only the things that you like to wear and that you know fit you are hanging there. So it's not this like big struggle to figure out what you're gonna put on today. We do lots of home decor projects here on our YouTube channel, but this year we're gonna get into some more organizing. And of course, especially in this video, this is an organizing video. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so we can hang out. are in front of my closet. I do share this closet with my husband and I'm only going to be focusing on my side of the closet today and then tomorrow with his help we are going to go through his side of the closet. So if this project feels really big and overwhelming to you don't be afraid to split it up so that it is a little easier to tackle. The very first step in this process is to remove all of your clothes from your closet. So you may be tempted to just kind of sort them where they're hanging, but it is really the best thing to take them all out to start with a clean slate so that nothing slips through the cracks and stays in your closet that you don't absolutely love. And as you're removing your clothes from your closet, you can start sorting them into three piles. So you're going to make a keep pile that will of course be for the clothing that you still enjoy and like to wear and wanna put back in your closet. You're gonna make a donate pile and this is for clothes that no longer serve you but can serve somebody else. And then you are gonna make a maybe pile. So if you really can't decide whether you should keep it or donate it, just stick it in the maybe pile for now and we will come back to it. I just wanna say real quick, don't mind my super wrinkly duvet cover. I didn't realize it looked this wrinkly. It didn't look this wrinkly in person, but apparently on camera, it looks like I need to get my life together. But whose bed isn't wrinkly, am I right? As you're sorting your clothes into these three piles, there are some things that you can keep in mind to help you make a decision on whether to keep it or donate it. So consider if you've had a job change recently. Maybe you've switched jobs and you have clothes in your closet that were maybe from an old job that you know you probably won't be wearing as much anymore. Maybe it's time to consider if you should store your seasonal clothes somewhere else. Maybe they're taking up too much room in your closet. All of your summer clothes are just taking up too much room in winter. So consider if you should store some of that somewhere else throughout the year. And keep in mind, if you've had a weight change recently, maybe you've lost some weight or gained some weight, be honest with yourself if you're ever gonna fit into this piece of clothing again and be graceful and try and pick out clothes that only fit your body currently so that you aren't putting stress on yourself unnecessarily. And then of course, consider if your style has changed. I recently heard this tip that I thought was really helpful and it was, if you walked into a store right now, would you buy this item again? I think that that will really help you decide whether this is still your style or if you're just pretending that this might still go, but it doesn't actually. Let's take a second to talk about sentimental clothing items. So these are items that you are struggling to remove from your closet. You know you maybe should because you're not gonna wear them again, but they're sentimental to you, so you don't wanna remove them. And I have a couple items like that. I have this cape that I wore with my wedding dress on my wedding day. 
and then my rehearsal dinner dress. So the likelihood that I'm gonna wear these items again is probably pretty low, but I like them hanging in my closet because it reminds me of a very nice memory. So I think it is okay to have a couple items like this. I would do maximum three items that are sentimental to you hanging in your closet. If you have more than that, consider storing them away in a tote. That way you have the memories preserved, but they aren't taking up valuable space in your closet. pretty big what can I say I mean your key pile is gonna be big because you're keeping most of your clothes most likely okay so I just went through all of my hanging clothes and I did put a couple things in the donate pile that I knew off the bat were a no and then obviously things in my keep pile that I know I definitely want to keep but I want to just reiterate the maybe pile is really freeing because now I get to go through a much smaller pile of clothes a second time and give it a thought instead of going through all of my items which is a lot to kind of consider and process now I have a much smaller pile to process and decide is it a yes or a no and then if there are some you still don't know after going through it a second time I will tell you what we're gonna do with those clothes. Do I want this or not? <laughs> I don't know. I can't decide if I want this or not. Okay, so that's gonna go, it's gonna stay in the maybe pile. This, I love, love, love this shirt, but it doesn't fit me comfortably. You know what I mean? Like, it just kind of, but like, look at how pretty. <laughs> so it's sad to let some things go, but you have to. I know I just don't gravitate towards this, so it's gonna go in the donate pile. This I recently got, I put it in the maybe pile because the sleeves, I don't know actually why I put this in the maybe pile. I think I wanna keep this. I put this in the maybe pile. I love wearing this thing, but I kind of feel frumpy when I wear it and it doesn't like look as nice anymore, but it, I love wearing it when I'm cozy around the house and it really does keep me warm. It's good for layering, so I'm gonna keep it for now. I absolutely love this sweater, but it shrank really badly in the dryer by accident. So I unfortunately have to donate this one because I'm gonna be honest with myself, it's never gonna fit me again. Okay, so I ended up with just one shirt in the maybe pile of like, I really can't decide if I should keep it or donate it. I can't decide if it's my style. It definitely fits, so that's not an issue. So what you do with clothes in the pile that you really, really can't sort out of your maybe pile we are gonna store these away for a maximum of three months. And if you do not think about the shirt or the pants or the dress or whatever the clothing item is, if you don't think about it for three months, then after that three months, it's time to donate it. But if you think about it, you're like, man, where is that? I wanna wear that. Then you can go dig it out of storage and keep it. So this is gonna be my stored away. And if I, in three months, think about it, then I get to keep it. If not, it's gotta go. When it is time to hang up all of your clothes again, I highly recommend having all matching hangers. This just makes your closet so much tidier and more organized, which is why we are doing this in the first place. I love using these black felt hangers. I think they just look really sharp. So I will link the ones that I like to use down below. Something to keep in mind when you are starting to put your clothes back, especially if you have a small closet, you don't have a lot of space and you did purge a good amount, but like, you know, it's still gonna be tight. Start with your absolute favorite items first, making them the priority. And then when you get towards the bottom, you're like, okay, what's left, you can kind of go through a second time and be honest, like, do I really still love this or am I kind of keeping this out of habit? So start with your favorites and as you get down to the bottom, see if you can't eliminate some. But if you have room for all of it, then just go ahead and put it back. But actually there is a way to put it back. So it is really fun to color coordinate our closets and I do recommend color coordinating, but instead of just going completely from lights to darks, first categorize your clothes by category. <laughs> so by item. So tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, sweaters, dresses, kind of put them in categories and then put them in color order. Because when you go to dress yourself, you, you know you want a sweater, you know you want a tank top, you know you want a short, leave, short sleeve before you know that you want to wear purple or green. 
you pretty much know the type of item of clothing that you want to wear for that day. And then you can go to that section and kind of pick out what you want and it's all together. So in my closet, I have my items hanging by tank tops first, then t-shirts, blouses, long sleeve shirts, cardigans, crew neck sweaters, and then my dresses. And if you wanna be really extra, you can space your hangers out evenly because this makes it look really nice and tidy. It's not realistic for this to stay for very long, but every once in a while you can go through and space out to your hangers because it just makes it look really sharp. Okay, I have all my clothes hung up back in my closet. So now I'm just gonna do the same process for my dresser drawers. I'm gonna take out all the clothes, decide what I wanna keep or donate or put in my maybe pile, and then I'm gonna fold them neatly and put them back in the drawer. And I wanna show you my little trick for folding. So my trick for folding is really simple and it is to make it so that you don't stack your clothes vertically in your drawer where you can't see what is in the pile. Instead, they all stack side by side so you can see everything at a glance. So folding your shirts so that they can stack side by side is really simple. You start by folding in each side, then you fold up from the bottom about a third of the way up the shirt, cover that with the top section, and then fold that in half, and then you will be able to stack your shirts side by side. While we were hanging out in my closet and on the topic of clothes, I figured I would share one of my favorite laundry tips with you. So this is something that absolutely changed the way that I do laundry and helped save a lot of my clothes from stains. So you know when you get a stain on a shirt, obviously there are certain stains you have to get in there and you have to treat them right away. But you know there are stains where it's like, oh, I just have to remember to spot treat this right before I throw it in the wash, but for now I'm just gonna throw it in the laundry and you throw it in with all the rest of your clothes and then time passes and it's time to do laundry and you don't remember which clothes you have to spot treat or that you spilled ketchup all down the front of that shirt. So I started putting those items that needed to be spot treated for stains in a completely separate basket. This way when I go to grab all of my laundry, I can take out what's in this little basket and put it right on top and that way when I get to the washing machine, I can treat those clothes First, throw them in the machine, add everything else, and then I never forget to treat a stain on a piece of clothing. So something that I think that has made my closet feel a lot nicer, besides going through it about once to twice a year to purge all the clothing like we did today, I like to keep my closet cute with decor as well. I painted this fun print on the wall and I also like to hang art in my closet. But you can also use your accessories and things as decor or display them out in a nice way so that they're all there and they're kind of adding to the overall aesthetic of your closet. We have this nice little shelf that my husband uses and his things are out and nice on display. I also hung my hat up on the wall so that doubles as decor. And up on my shelf, I have my towels neatly folded and I have my overnight bag on display as well. And the way I keep this nice and full instead of collapsed looking is I keep all of my other little travel bag accessories stuffed inside of this bag so it stays nice and plump up on my shelf. So don't be afraid to grab clutches and handbags and hats and scarves and things like that to decorate your closet with as well as having it serve as a functional space to keep it.
Together, my husband and I filled up almost two garbage bags worth of clothes that we are gonna donate, and we are so happy to know that these clothes will go where they can serve others. If you're dragging your feet about this project and you need motivation to get in there and get this done, maybe just think about the clothes that you will be pulling out that can go to somebody who needs them more than you do. I hope you had fun cleaning out my closet with me and I hope that this really inspires you to go in and tackle your closet. If you're like, wow, my closet can never look like that, that's not true. If you clean it out and try and do it at least once a year, your closet will also eventually look like this where it is always just the clothes that you like to wear, that fit you, that make you feel good. And again, it'll set your day up on such a better foot to just get in there and have the things that you know you like instead of it being in between all the stuff that gives you bad feelings. I wanna thank you for watching and remind you to hit that subscribe button so we can keep hanging out. And as always, I hope that this helped you to see your home in a new light. Hit that subscribe button because you are really gonna enjoy hanging out with me. And I wanna hang out with you, so let's be friends. Let's be friends. Okay, let's go uh, start purging the closet. So purging all of the my clothes, all of the my clothes. Get to it. I do a lot of home decor. Depor. <laughs> Lots of home depor here. So stick around. Why am I overthinking this? Just be chill. So like I said, we usually do home decor product products <clears throat> here on our YouTube channel. YouTube channel. I hope you had fun. I hope you had fun cleaning out my closet with you. What?